Well, the countdown has begun. We are loading up a daybreak. This map gives us a lot of long PVZs. Yes, it does. We've already seen a few today. We're in the form of Hasu Obs going up against Pig. It wasn't actually on the stream, but it was certainly a bit of a smasher for us back here oh boy, yeah. in the in the um, player area. So, guys, let's jump right on into game number one as we have loaded up on Daybreak. So, spawning up into the top right-hand corner here as our blue Protoss here for the Intel Extreme Masters Singapore on the main stage. Ladies and gents, give it up for Fnatic's Oz. And spawning down in the bottom left-hand corner all the way from Europe, or Russian Federation, near enough, mm -hmm. uh, we do have our Red Zerg. Give it up for VP BenQ Slivko. All right, I'm pretty excited to see what Oz has planned here. For Slivko, you know, I feel like he's a late game player. Yeah, I feel like yeah. he really wants to get into that hive tech. So I expect just the three hatcheries before gas into pretty standard play overall. Yeah, I would agree with that. It's There's not very too much variation that will go on from Slivko from that point on. If we were to see, for example, even just like a late to a third uh, hatchery from Slivko. That would be something way out of the ordinary for our man here. I mean, that's way out of the ordinary for a lot of Zergs. The only Zergs that you end up seeing do that kind of thing are people like uh, Acer Bly, for example. He's a good high proprietor of that. But just any kind of really, really heavy mid-game aggression from Slivko is something slightly out of that norm. Mm -hmm. Well, a pretty standard uh, spawning pool timing there. Oz already seeing it, so he knows exactly what he can get away with. Probably going to end up being Nexus first, right into Forge. Yeah, yeah. Some standard play there. Yeah, and for now, just back at home. Not really much else going on from Slivko other than the fact that the spawning pool is on the way. He's going to try and uh, secure his expansion. He might be able to actually get this down before the drone gets back to block it. It's going to be so close. Oh. oh! That was a nice little block there from Oz, but it was it could have been the other way very, very easily. Yeah, he slithered right into there. Now Slivko getting a little bit frustrated, having to start another Overlord and a couple drones. And this is definitely doing a good job slowing him down. Yeah, it really is. That probe actually not taking too much damage, but he does finally pip it out of the post as he gets that expansion down and ready to go. Meanwhile, Slivko seeing exactly what he would have expected from Oz back on the other side. Just that Nexus, just that Forge on the way, um, and he is expecting to just see gateways, etc., and a pretty standard build from Oz right now. Yeah, and uh, Oz getting one gas. Let's take a look and see if he gets a second. Mm. If he doesn't get that second, it's going to mean that he's going for the quick three Nexus and the Void Rays. And that's a build that if you don't know how to play against it, what you think you should do against it is what it kills the best. Yeah. So we'll see if Slivko actually has watched enough Oz games to know that. It's very interesting, actually, that it is just from that one gas that this bit kind of build can happen because 9.9 yeah. .9 times out of 10, it's two gases that go down straight away yeah. in that main. So we'll see if Slivko can start scouting this kind of thing out because it is it is already deviating from the norm. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it really looks like that is what Oz is up to. I think it's going to be that triple nexus into Void Rays. And, you know, it's a safe and solid build for him. Uh, Slivko is going to have to just react the right way. I feel like Oz is about to get a big lead. And Slivko, you know, this is a knowledge build. This is one of those builds where, hey, you don't know how to beat this? Yeah, yeah. Then I'm going to win. And I feel like it's almost like, a, in some ways, a free win scenario. It sort of harks back to the, the progression of StarCraft II and how, how all these builds came along. It's like, mm. oh, you've never seen this build? Oh, well, I just win. Yeah. And if, I mean, this pro has also seen the third base, so that's great for Oz here. I mean, just getting that confirmation. Um, so, I mean, in, t in essence, how as the Zerg do you combat this? Do you just have to be more diligent with the scouting and actually realize what on earth is going on here? You know, to be honest, I, I think that if you figure out that it's coming, Mm -hmm. uh, and we aren't 100% that it's coming yet. He's starting the same gas. We'll see soon. Uh, but if you think the three Nexus and Avoid Ray build is coming, I feel like you actually have to go up to like seven queens right, because right. otherwise you can't take that fourth base. You don't want to be even as far as bases with a Protoss. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll see if we're going to see Slivko try and accommodate for such occurrences here. And, I mean, right now, the interesting thing is is that he actually got his second gas yeah. in his natural 
thus showing it to his opponents, thus making it look like everything mm -hmm. is normal. Because you would normally have the two gases in your main, and then eventually you would indeed take that third gas. So might, he might be thinking, oh, well, you know, you're going quite light on gas. You haven't taken your fourth yet. Exactly. So and, uh, yeah. it's, it's a brilliant move, to be oh. honest, and I love it. But he's making that Stargate as well. So he's going to go for Void Rays out of that. That can easily deny a, third ha a fourth base mm -hmm. from Slivko, which is when you see such a quick third, you're either going to go and attack it, you know, that's their first inclination. But then you think, oh, you know what? He must have a plan here. Yeah. yeah. So then you're like, oh, well, maybe I'll just take a fourth base. But this is what it can just hurt so badly. And he's still making it look normal. He pokes out with his initial Zealot and Stalker. That's a normal move to go for. He was getting his plus one. He didn't quite spot that. Uh, but still, uh, it's a normal thing to occur. So right now, he throws down the Roach and He's making a few Roaches in order to anticipate some mm. kind of plus one, four gate, Zealot timing, or just any little bit of aggression that would come along from that point on. Yeah, now we have the seven Roaches and 30 Lings. The thing is, the, the setup at the third base of Oz is so Ling-proof. It's really, really good against Zerglings. Mm, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's, it's a cannon surrounded by gateways, so they just can't really really touch it. And from here, Oz is going to focus on just getting out some units, getting out Void Rays. Uh, he's going to have to... Oh, that's actually... Oh, almost catches that. Not yeah. quite, though. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is this is going to be something very hard for Slivko to actually break through, especially with this many Lings. Oh, wow, actually, yeah, he's getting pretty darn aggressive with this. He's got 20 more Lings on the way. He spotted the kind of early level of that third base and is now trying to put on some aggression with this. That's a lot of Lings barreling into the natural here. The Void Ray is going to go to work on them, so he spots that and will be able to prepare oh. behind this aggression, and he gets in. I'm surprised that we didn't see Oz throw down some additional buildings to block that. His third base completely fine right now, but taking a ton of damage in the natural. Oz misstepping a bit with his build, and suddenly Slivko is in a great spot. Oh, there's just going to be lings everywhere here. He's making 30. There's more on the way into the natural. They're already in the main. Plus two weapons, or that plus one weapons is on the way, but it's really not going to matter at this point. He doesn't even have really that many gateways to actually produce and defend this. No, I don't think he can actually defend at this <laughs> point. He's losing his main and he's losing his natural. So it, with a build that Slivko actually did what he wanted him to do, it still broke him. Oz yeah. was supposed to make some more buildings, get his wall up, warp in what? some sentries, what? and be fine. Well, where, where are those lings going? I mean, he's actually... Oh, I see. He's bringing them all down to the natural here to try and focus down this nexus. He should go up eventually and try bring down the main nexus as mm. well with a few. But he's just got lings everywhere. He's making a hydralist in behind this. He knows that that air threat looms. So if this goes awry for any reason, he still has that defensive capability. Yeah, but, I mean, this this isn't going to go awry. I mean, Oz <laughs> may technically still be alive at the end of this attack, but it's going to come back twice as strong with Hydras. Yeah, it really, it really is. He's doubling his opponent's supply right now. Even 11 minutes into this game, you know, 40 to 80 supply isn't necessarily what we normally see from this matchup specifically. But there you go. GG, it doesn't matter. Wow. All right, so Slivko takes that game one, and, you know, he just kind of saw it and said, this is too greedy, right? Yeah, and made yeah. the units and attacked. But, you know, Oz even had a probe in position to start building more buildings behind his little zealot wall in yeah. so that he could hold that, but just not quick enough on his reaction there. I mean, it, 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 when, when you've seen this build... Is this something that people will normally do to actually deal with it? Or do they just sit back no. in the normal Zerg mentality? Because this game has just shown that Slivko can be extremely reactive if he wants to. Sure, yeah, you reacted very quickly. But, you know, it's it, that was a mostly Ling attack, right? Yeah, and yeah. with walls, Lings aren't that good. And he has walls at his third base. He has walls at his natural. He just didn't quite get his full defenses up quick enough when he saw what was going on. Slivko caught him a bit off guard there. I feel like that's definitely a game that Oz is going to regret if he ends up not making out of this group.